Hey guys, it's Mike with Poor Zach Golf, taking your game to the next level and beyond. Today we're going to step inside a lesson with one of our favorite young players, Isabella Fernandez. This girl just bombs it. We were getting ready for a tournament. We're going to take you through some of her pre-shot routine and her ball striking, do a little short game and some putting. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. We're gonna give you a little test now and see how good your chipping is. This is one of my favorite little drills down here I like to do that kind of um, just sort of tests the ability for the player to kind of gauge how their ability to get the ball close to the hole is. All right, and it's a super simple drill that, you know, if you guys have access to a putting green or a chipping green that has three holes, I mean, this is one of the best things I can do down, you can do down here. It's a little bit more of a random practice, right? So a lot of times we'll come down here and we'll sit in one spot. We'll hit a bunch of shots, okay? This time we're gonna come down here and do something different. I'm gonna grab us three golf balls and go in that shade or the light right there, whatever Gabe think, Gabe's thinks is best. And here it is, three golf balls each, okay? I'm gonna put myself on the spot a little bit here too, Bella, just for you. All right, so I remember when I was playing, I would do this drill all the time. Short game was one of the things I just love to practice, okay? And so here's what I would do. And if I did this the first time I came down here, guess what? I said, oh, that's great. I just hit three shots and my short game is done for the day because I just did everything I needed to and everything I could handle. So here's how this works. We've got three balls. We're going to be in the same spot, but we're going to go to different holes every time, right? So this is going to create a different shot every time. Now there's one goal, one goal is to get your ball to the club length. So guess what? You come down to a chipping green, you throw three golf balls down and you can go to three different holes and hit it to a club length, you know what I say? Let's go putt, let's go chip, <laughs> or let's go uh, do some full swing, you know what I mean? Because you've really got control of your golf ball, all right? So we're gonna try to do that here, I'll go first, and then you can go and we'll kind of see, I'll be able to kind of see your choice of shot, your shot selection, your setup, and I'm really gonna be able to see a lot about how you go about chipping on the course. That's also why this is a good one for a teacher to do for a student, okay? So first things first, I'm gonna go to the short one here. I got two options. I can put it up in the air and hit a nice high soft shot, or I could chip it low. I'm feeling a little bit higher right now, okay? Put the ball up in my stance. Club face is a little bit open. I'm just looking right around that shadow. I'm gonna land it there. And not happy with that shot right there, okay? Definitely two club lengths there. Should have probably taken the lower route, and that's why um, it's good to, good to think about that shot selection. Let's go to the second one. This one, I got plenty of green. I'm definitely gonna go lower. Okay, I'm looking at this little leaf in front of me here. We're gonna pop it right there. Sit. Close, we're gonna have to measure that one, right? We got fast greens today. And now, we have an even harder one. So to me, the middle shot is kind of the easiest one. I've hit that closest to a, a club length. This one is pretty dicey. This one is also dicey, right? I'm gonna have to probably go high up in the air for this one and see if we can get that ball to stop closer. Ooh, that guy just made it. Not bad, gonna be there. So I'm borderline two out of three though, but I am really upset about that first one. So, you ready for your challenge? Again, no rules, all that has to happen is you gotta try to get it as close as possible, okay? Right, gonna, treat, gonna treat everyone like a, uh, like a tournament situation, like an up and down that we have to make sure we make to win the tournament, right? That's how we create a little more practice environment, more like the um, actual tournament. About the same thing I did, right? You actually, let's see, you tied coach right there, so not bad. Again, that's probably one of the harder shots here. Got the second one. Using your imagination, I think one of the really important things, especially for junior players, is to make sure they see their shot. They're expecting something to happen, okay? Then you can make it happen. Gonna be close in there, it's gonna be close, about one and a half, not bad. All right, last one.
That's okay, that's a great distance, it's a little right, but here's the thing, you know, that's actually a much better shot than you think. I would be taking that line and that shot in a tournament, you know what I mean? But let's go through these three and let's talk about them actually individually a little bit now, okay? So what did we see in the first one? Well, both of us chose a little higher shot and both of us hit it way past, okay? And this is a great, great tutorial here because I want you guys to see me walk up to this shot now and simply just try to hit it to the fringe on a lower trajectory and watch where this golf ball ends up. about half the distance as the other golf ball, right? And I hit it way too far. So just shot selection is a huge, huge, huge thing in ability to hit your shots closer to the hole, right? And playing the golf ball a little more on the ground. Wow, look at that one, that was easy. Bella, come in here and hit a couple of nice low ones for me where we put the ball back in our stance, okay? And literally the hardest part about this shot is focusing right here on your spot, okay? Way too big, way too big. We gotta get way smaller. There it is, tiny, tiny, tiny. Look right up here with your eyes. Pretend like you're trying to hit it into that little hoop right there. Is that going in the hoop or over? Okay, soften the grip. I want you to feel the weight of the club head here. Look at your hoop. Look at that hoop right there, just a tiny little stroke. Ooh, ooh, very nice though. About the same distance there, let's go one more. Awesome right there, I love that, boy. Perfect, okay. There we go, and that'll just trickle down there, right? So shot selection is such a big thing. As you're going out there, you're going to your tournament to play your practice round, right? Practice round isn't always about hitting a shot to the pin in the hole. Like I want you to go up to these, these holes and go up to these corners, these greens, and figure out how this grass reacts. It's different out there, right? You're going to, to Nevada. Feel how the greens react, what shots you can and can't hit. Okay, um, second shot was fine. I think both of us hit that really pretty easily, right? We both played kind of this little lower shot that was up here, just getting it to roll down towards the hole, not too bad. Um, let's talk about the next one, okay? The higher one. Now, this is a really great, great lesson here, again, for tournament play. Because as I look at this shot, my situation here, I can either make a really aggressive play towards the left of the flag, and here's why I say this is aggressive. Might not be able to see this on the camera, but there's a big hill here, and everything slopes down this way. So in order for me to hit this ball close, I've got to take a really high line and pick a landing point here. Now, what that takes into account is that I now have to make a bigger swing with more um, speed. If I don't execute that properly, my shot could be totally off the map, right? So again, in tournaments, yes, we're trying to hit it as close as we can, but two, sometimes we got to make sure we keep our ball and we know what's an acceptable shot. So let's go back here and look at this again, okay? And this is why I say Bella's was actually really quite a um, good shot selection because as I look at this, I'm going to have to fly this golf ball probably 70% of the way in order to get it to finish to a club length, which is kind of what I tried to do last time. Now, again, that shot doesn't get executed very well and I could be really far. You can see it, I hit a great shot there and I'm still outside of a club length. So if I'm in a tournament, I'm actually probably gonna be looking right of this hole a little bit more. Okay guys, I'm gonna be playing out to the side of the green where you know what, I really wanna get this ball up and down. I didn't put myself in a good place, but if I don't, it's not the end of the world. What I have to do is give myself a good look at this, okay? And so in that case, I'd be playing right of the hole I'd hit a shot out here that bounces just a little bit right. I don't have to take on any danger. And now I've got just a slightly longer putt from the other side when there was really no, no danger in the shot, right? There wasn't a big miss I could hit that could mess up my score. So um, I think you did pretty good there. Why don't you try both of them, Bella? Why don't you try going one high aggressive, we'll see how we do, and then take the one in kind of the lower, more conservative route. So for the higher one, we put the ball forward, right? We make sure we turn through this golf shot. Boom, yep, you picture your landing spot.
Good, a little hard. That's not bad. Put that ball a little bit more forward for me, okay? We'll get a little bit higher, softer shot. Good, yep, excellent. And also a little longer, smoother swing for me. There we go, and turn through it. Boom, that's it right there. Awesome, do it again. Turn around the corner. Yes, there we go. Very, very nice, perfect, okay? Not a lot of trouble uh, when you execute them like that. Very, very good, all right? Um, awesome, let's go hit some pitches. Tell me this, actually, where around this green do you see any shots where you're like, man, if I get here in a tournament, this shot is really hard? Like, I'm close to the hole, I'm farther from the hole, I'm over the bunker. Close to the hole, those are oftentimes kind of some of the hardest ones. You know, let's come right over here. All right, so we got a nice little chip here, right? We hit a shot that looked like it was pretty good, but it just got us caught up oh, on the short side of the hole, right? What does that mean? There's always a side, as you look at a hole, that doesn't have a lot of green, <laughs> and then there's a side that has a lot of green, right? And if we're managing ourselves well, most of the time we'll be on the side with a lot of green. Occasionally, we'll hit a great shot or a not so good shot and we'll end up on this side. And this is where we need to figure out how to play these softer little shots, right? So for these, it's going to be all about presetting our ball position in our club face, okay? So our ball position is gonna be much more forward and our club face is gonna be much more open, okay? Now a shot like this is a very delicate shot. The second you begin to put any wrist hinge into this shot, you've already created way too much power. So this ball is either gonna come out low and over compressed, or you're gonna go right underneath it, okay? So we really have to feel ourselves have quiet wrists on these little guys, get our weight really on our left foot, and we can use a wonderful, wonderful little training aid, this golf ball here, to feel ourselves really, boom, get up and out and pop it down and up, okay? So my ball forward, club face open, I've got this ball right back here, and my club is never gonna come close to that golf ball. If I do that, boom, I'll pop them right up there, okay? Let's see it again. Get right here. Club is close. I'm just gonna keep my club on the outside of that golf ball there. Pop it up, boom, nice and soft, right? No chance to really over compress or get too out of position, all right? Let's try to hit a couple of those. Almost, it's almost like a putt, kind of up and down into the ground. So take a couple practice swings from right there. We'll put a golf ball behind you here to give you kind of that guide. Excellent. Good. Perfect. And again, here's one of the big things for this, is we've got to make sure that as you're doing this, right, you are going to watch my lower body. You are going to turn through this shot, okay? You're not going to, boom, swing the club through that shot. You're really going to turn your body around that shot, that left hip. Boom, there you go. Not a lot of speed, though. There it is. Perfect right there. Watch you pop these up nice and soft. Good, that's a big swing, nice and soft. You're just popping it right over the front edge. There it is, right there. Go in there and do that, watch this. Bloop. Oh, might go in. Very nice, let's do another one of those. So the key is when we're short-sided, less is more. If we feel or hear any of this, right? A speed of the club, holy cow, how far could I end up from this hole? really far, right? <laughs> so we got to make sure we're not creating any angles. We got to make sure we're turning through and we're really allowing the club to do a lot of the work here, okay? One more like this. Beautiful right there. I love that sound bell and turning through it so much better. Awesome. Oh, can't get too much out of trouble there, right? So again, you know, the mistakes that might happen would be even before you hit the golf ball and you would get in here and you'd be looking at this hole making practice swings like this, <laughs> right? With a swing that if that ball got in the way, who knows where it could go, okay? Really, really good. Um, should we go upstairs and look at some putting? Let's, uh, let's do it. All right, guys, thanks for stopping by. We hope you enjoyed. Click the link below for three free videos. Leave any comments or questions down below.